bus tonight. 18 alleged gang members and their friends indicted on dozens of charges, including murders and shootings like this one in the Kings Plaza Mall in Brooklyn, when members of the Martens Beverly bosses saw rival gang members at the mall. Cops say this is a big deal. Here's Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett. The Kings Plaza Mall, 530 in the afternoon. A young man with a gun aims and fires at a rival gang member. The gun jams, the clip falls out, and there's pandemonium. Prosecutors say it was just one in a series of senseless, reckless shootings on the streets of Brooklyn committed by members of the Martens Beverly Bosses, a violent street gang affiliated with the notorious gang known as the Bloods. During the course of this investigation, we saw members firing indiscriminately during daylight hours in the crowds with total disregard to innocent persons as well as rival gangs. 18 reputed gang members are charged tonight with crimes ranging from reckless endangerment to conspiracy and murder. Watch as this young man opens fire on a street in broad daylight while on the phone, a call that was being intercepted by NYPD detectives. No, I'm telling, I'm telling. Oh! Prosecutors say they routinely used basketball terminology to communicate. The point guard was the person who brought the gun to the tournament or to the game, to the location of the shooting. And the shooting guard obviously was the person who would conduct the shooting. It's all just a game to them. This is what they do to get street credibility and possibly to have some fun. The gang took its name from the streets it considers its turf, Beverly Road and Martent Street, where residents today praise the arrests. They have to get the guns off the street. We need more of that, a lot more of that getting rid of the guns. Prosecutors say they were some of the most dangerous young men in Brooklyn. If they're convicted, they could face up to 25 years in state prison. In downtown Brooklyn, and Jay Burkett.